I'm going to take a look at the Thursday night late pick four sequence for Hoosier Park. It begins in race 10, 50 cent base bet, $10,000 guaranteed pool in the first leg going three deep to three. On time 10, seven to two, drops to a winnable level and was successful versus this kind back in the summer. Has the gate speed to land on the point could try to work the same plan for a picture. The four, tell it like I see it. It's three to one in the morning line. Hasn't been able to seal the deal since August 21st when rallied off a quick pace. This race could set up for a late rally also and can take a picture if within reach after they turn for the wire. The 10, deuce hand over six to one. Marvin Luna needs to find a way off the gate to not be compromised by being too far back. If so, this one tries Lasix for the second time and paced the second half in the previous race in 55-1. and one. Could be a bit better tonight. Race 11 going too deep to one Maggie time, 9-5. to five, and Held his home to finish second against this kind in his first start since shipping in from Aces. Comes back in sequence, Luke Plano steers, and this filly should be dialed on high. The three, Topville, also lucky, 5-2. to two, Dropped the pop with a nice score off a sharp drive by Marvin Luna. The same pilot who usually steers and returns tonight, but not crazy about missing a start. That said, the Vernon Fisher barn has been clicking over the last 30 days, and this filly has a shot to rally off of another cozy trip. In race 12, going too deep, the three. One Dan Show, three to one, should relish the company, but needs the right trip. Likes to take control off the gate and not look back. Faded last week, but is in a spot this time to last on the lead. The five, Easter Jack, five to two, raced evenly and last after breaking stride in the previous start. Didn't miss a race before the last start and knows how to beat this kind if dialed on high. Kyle Wolfunk should be out and rolling, racing at the top of the stack. In race 13, going to close it out using three horses. The four, book the flight, four to one. Will toss the last start on October 9th. Needed the race off a six scratch after missing about three weeks. Should be forwardly placed here. Fits well, and Mike Oostin could work a cozy trip. The six, pond the Ferrari, six to one. We'll use the Jeff Colifer, Colifer late starting two-year-old after a nice qualifier. Went to back half of 57 and went and finished second to a well-meant winner. The fresh horse angle could work in a race without a stand-up, a standout, and the price should be right to take a swing. The seven, son of ERA, three to one. The grinder was a bit pace compromised and last. This time, the fraction should be more lively. Needs a trip in the right setup, but we'll use and fade the morning line chalk number eight, who has been facing tougher. But it's 0 for 8 and will likely be bet down. The 50 cent late pick 4 reads 3 4 10 with 1 3 with 3 5 with 4 6 7 for $18 and good luck.